Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we've got yet another video in our series about cutting the cord or shaving the cord, if you will. And I wanted to talk today about a new beta from Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run. They've now got an app, a native app that runs on iOS. That's the iPad and the iPhone that we're going to be taking a quick look at in this video. At the time that I'm recording this, this is a beta, which you can sign up for. Uh, but I think the features will be largely the same on the final release version. So I may not do an update on this if nothing really big changes. And if you are watching this one in the future, uh, this will likely be available in the App Store for you to download. Load. Now, I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that Silicon Dust, the makers of the HD Home Run, are occasional sponsors here on the channel. They're not sponsoring this video. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and nobody is reviewing this content before it is posted. Now, if you've used the HD Home Run app on other platforms, the interface will look very familiar to you. It'll load up, and it will detect whether or not you have the recording engine installed on your network. Uh, in this case, I do. I've got it running on a NAS device. You can see my playlist down below to see how it all works in my home but if you just have one of their tuners, it will connect directly to that. I can tap on the screen here and pull up the uh, directory of programs currently on the air, and then I can uh, browse forward here with their patented slice view so we can see what else is coming up. And then, for example, if I wanted to record something because I have the DVR engine installed, it will bring me right over to the DVR interface to uh, begin recording an episode individually here if I wish. So I can tap on that one and set it to record, or I could record the whole series. I can back back out over here to live TV, and you can see how uh, quickly we can switch between channels. So maybe I'll go over to uh, CNN here and see what's going on in the news, and it will uh, pretty quickly pull up uh, CNN here, as you can see. So it's a pretty quick transition in between channels. I also have the ability to do some time shifting because I have the DVR installed on my network, so I can uh, rewind and fast forward live TV. I can also tap down here and switch over to my DVR view. So if I wanted to check out the deadliest catch that I recorded uh, from the other night, I can go up here to the most recent recording and click on the play button, and uh, there you go. Everything starts up very quickly. And one of the things that I like about uh, the HD home run system is how fast everything is. It really doesn't take all that long for things to spin up and get working here. And it will also work on iPhone as well, so you'll get the same interface here, just a little smaller, so we can uh, see I've got some live TV running on here right now, and I can scroll around the uh, slice guide here, and I can go back to my DVR if I want to do that as well. Uh, what's also cool is that when you turn the volume down on either the phone or the tablet version, I'm guessing there are other uh, devices do the same thing, uh, it will start running closed captioning automatically for you. You can turn that off if you want, but I thought that was kind of neat that once you turn the volume down, uh, you will get closed captioning when you do that. So that's an option that you can easily disable if you want, but kind of cool that it is on there. Now, there is not an Apple TV version of this app at the time that I'm recording this review, but you can do something like I'm doing here with AirPlay mirroring. So I've got uh, the app here running on my phone and I'm casting it over to the Apple TV, uh, but it's not filling up my whole screen and the video quality isn't the best, but it is possible to uh, use it in this way if you wish. There are two native apps that run on the Apple TV. Uh, one is called Insta TV, the other is called the Channels app. Both of those work with the HD Home Run Tuner, so you can uh, get a native experience on here, and both seem to work pretty well. Uh, the Channels app is something I've covered in the past, and I'll link to that down below in the video description. Now, you'll note from past videos, I always recommend going with Ethernet for this live TV watching, just because uh, you want to make sure you've got the best possible connection. That, of course, is not feasible on a mobile device like one of these two here. So in that case, I do recommend making sure you've got a decent AC wireless network in your home and that you've got access point stations strategically so that you get strong signals wherever you want to go to watch your live TV. I'm not having any problem here in my house. I've got three AC access points positioned around the home and everything has been working fine wherever I am. But uh, know that some broadcasts are going to be more demanding than others. So right now my PBS affiliate here is streaming to my uh, iPhone, and this is an MPEG-2 broadcast, which is a little more demanding on the network. Now, if you can't get your wireless straightened out, one way around the problem is to use the HD Home Run Extend box. This is only going to work for over-the-air broadcasts, but it has a built-in encoder that will convert the MPEG-2 signals to MPEG-4, which are easier to push out over a wireless network. I might cover that in the next couple of weeks to just give you an idea as to how it works, because it really can uh, very effectively make your content more viewable over wireless if you are having trouble. Uh, the HD Home Run Prime, which is what I use for cable systems, does not have that 
function built into it. Now what's happening for me is that a bulk of my cable channels are MPEG-4 now through Comcast, but some of them, like the PBS station here, are running on MPEG-2 still. But again, no problem on AC wireless with a good connection. That's gonna do it for our first look of the HD Home Run app running on the iOS platform. I'm really quite pleased with how fast and responsive it is here, especially on my iPad. This is the new 10.5. It is just very quick and responsive to pull up shows to watch from recordings or switch back to live over the air broadcast. I really did turn my iPad here uh, into a TV set. Now this will work only inside the home, but if you do wish to do things outside of the home as far as watching live TV, uh, you can do that with the Plex DVR that we covered in another video. And in fact, I'm running both uh, Plex's product and the HD Home Run DVR concurrently because both of those work with the HD Home Run tuners and those tuners are really agnostic as to what software you point at them. They really allow you to do whatever you want uh, with the hardware once you buy it. And that's been uh, quite liberating on a whole bunch of levels because I can run what I want for the particular use case that I might have, uh, but it also allows me to liberate myself from the cable company's rented equipment. So I'm saving quite a bit uh, per month with that. And for many of you who are lucky enough to get more stuff over the air than I can get, uh, you can get rid of the cable company completely and put a couple of HD home run tuners in your house and uh, build your own network DVR system like I've done here with my uh, HD Home Run Primes. You do have a lot of options here for making all this stuff work. Do leave me any questions or comments you have down below in the video description. Also check out my other videos so you can see how all of this stuff works together. And again, the beta is available right now at the time that I'm recording this. You'll have links to that down below and it should be available soon on the iOS App Store. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Tangential Soup Podcast, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.